happened is what it says. There it is. All right, we're live. We're live. We're doing this. I'm going to reshare once it pops up. It has not popped up yet. There it is. There it is. All right. So let me share and then we can... Hey everybody, we're just waiting for a couple of other folks to join and then we're going to jump in. It's Todd Bishop and Andrew Edwards here. What's up? Oh, there's my there's my game. There's my game. That's right your game. There. Yes. That's your jam. You, you knew, I, by, I the knew, I knew by the music. That's I did hilarious. know by the music. I told you I've been playing this game for years. <laughs> All right, how many folks out there? Oh, let me get my computer so I can monitor the stream. Yeah, this is a this is gonna be a popular gadget. How many folks out there uh, have tried to get the NES Classic Edition? Let me log into our Facebook and see what you say in the comments. This thing is so dang cute, Andrew. I mean, look at that. I mean, <laughs> it is. Excite bike, yeah. Henry Henry Rose is uh, right on board with me. Yes. Sorry for the false start, everybody. It's getting some behind the scenes action. I'm ready whenever you are. We're All right. So, I'm ready so, yeah. yeah. So you everything's recording? going. We're ready. Recording. Recording. Yeah. Recording. Good. yeah. Countdown or anything? Yeah. Do we just jump in? Just go right ahead. All right. Hey guys, what is going on? We've got something new for you this week. I'm Andrew Edwards with my boy. Todd Bishop. Todd Bishop. Have you ever been called someone's boy before? No, but I'm perfectly fine with it. Good, good. <laughs> so we are uh, doing something new. Like I said, this is GeekWire Radio. With, as you can see, it says GeekWire Radio with Andrew Edwards. I did not expect it to say all that. We're, we're very welcoming around here, Andrew. Very humbling. So um, what we're doing, something new, we're going to be talking about the consumer electronics world every week. And what that means is we're not so much focused on tech news as much as we're focused on gadgets, gizmos, toys, whatever you want to call them, the, thing, the, the physical things that plug into a wall or have a battery. And the idea, though, is to focus on the stuff that's new, the stuff that maybe other people out there haven't been able to get their hands on, right. but yes. you, through your connections and your ingenuity, Andrew, have, have found. And, and Mostly you've, ingenuity. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've got one of them right here, which is this cute little thing. It's the Nintendo NES Classic the Edition. NES Classic, yes. So tell us about this Yeah, thing. so, well, I mean, the NES Classic, so this is something that Nintendo released recently. Um, what was it? Just uh, Friday. Just Friday, yeah. So just a few days ago. And it's a small box. Um, if you're watching us on video, you can see it's a small box that fits basically in the palm of your hand. And it has 30 classic Nintendo games, original Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System games on it. So it ships with a, a collection of 30. It can't be upgraded, so you can't add any new games to it. You can't connect to the internet and download anything additional. But Nintendo selected 30 games that they thought were, you know, would bring people on that trip to nostalgia or maybe introduce new gamers to some of the classics. And I love it. It's still got the little flap for the cartridge. Right. It doesn't even open. It doesn't open. They, they should have done something really cool. I right know. Here, like open it up and, I don't know, some kind of port. Or... Right. Right. <laughs> so the interesting thing about that, though, as you can see in your, as you're touching it, is that pretty much this whole, this whole thing is just a piece of plastic. There's not really much to it. On the inside, you have um, what amounts to a Raspberry Pi, basically. Really? Yeah, so there's just a, a, a little piece of flash in there that stores all these games. And the outside is just, you know, plastic, basically. Um, plugs in through HDMI, and then it's powered by micro, uh, micro USB. So you can actually plug this into any, you know, if you have one of those mobile chargers or anything like that, you don't need to plug it into a wall. And then it has... Right I've there. seen one of those before. The old school controller. So we had a debate about this, or at least a discussion about it on last week's show. And you mentioned that your son, who I believe is twelve, yes, he's about to be thirteen. He, it was, it was not intense enough for him, right? Right. Well, I mean, it's it is it's cool. There's a nostalgia. Well, I guess not a nostalgia factor for him, but it's it's cool to see the earlier games. But you know, in this day and age, where you know. Launching alongside this was the new Sony PlayStation 4 Pro, 
which does 4K <laughs> gaming in high dynamic range. You know, costs four hundred dollars, while this one costs sixty dollars. Um, it's just you know, there's a vast difference between what gamers of today are used to versus the old days. So here you are, you're flipping through. Yep. So as you can see at the along the bottom there, you've got all the uh, oh, fun just, artwork. You went, he went right in. Right this is his bike. favorite game right here, Excite Bike. <laughs> Actually, we should ask, is there anything anybody else wants to see? I, I can do Excite Bike some other time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't deprive this man. But what I was going to mention was I've got a daughter who's almost six, and one of the reasons mm -hmm. I really want one of these is the simplicity. It's yes. probably the opposite of what your son is experiencing. Right. Experiencing, You know, she's she can, you know, do a Mac trackpad, and mm -hmm. so she's, you know, nimble enough, dexterous enough with her fingers that she could do it. So I, th I think that probably is part of what's yes. driving the demand is, is the simplicity of it. Sure, sure. I mean, I, I don't know if the demand. I mean, when I was when I went and saw people standing in line, the majority of them were buying it for themselves when they were adults. They none, most of them were not saying, "Oh, I got to pick this up for my, you know, my ten year old for Christmas." Right. So there, it really is like you know, you've grown up with games, you play games, but there's also you want to always go back to your roots, um, and. Playing it this way is much easier than, you know, most people don't know about downloading an emulator and where to right. find ROMs and all that. So it's a, nice, it's a nice package. So I was just trying to play there. And for some reason, so how do you get back to the main menu? Main menu, oh, you just like you do on the old school, it has the power button and it has a little reset button. Right on the you front that of the reset box. Right there. Yeah. Reset. Okay. All right. Now, you're not, you're not seeing this one issue, though. Uh, my big issue with this is the length of the controller cord. Yes. So you're That's right it. next to the TV. But who's really sitting, what are we, two feet away from this television right. right here? So you have to, like, pull it away from the TV and put it in the middle of the living room in order to play. And that's that's kind of annoying. That's really my, my only gripe about it. I did a full review on this um, a few days ago, and that was my main my main issue with it was just, why do I have to sit so close to the TV? Yeah, I could see that. Are, there are, There's, like, a wireless third-party option, right? Yeah, there's a wireless third-party option from Nyko, which sold out very quickly as well. But you can still order on Amazon and just wait till it shows up. Um, there's also um, controller extension cables you can buy, um, which also sold out very promptly. But, you know, again, you can order those and wait till they show up. But So there's ways around that. But um, I just don't understand why... Nintendo couldn't just give you a little bit of a longer cord. The original ones were like eight or nine feet long. Yeah, so Dave on the Facebook live stream says his main issue is the inability uh, to update or install additional ROMs. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they told us that up front, though. Yes. So when you went in and, and, and dropped $60 on this, you were really dropping $60 on the 60 games. I'm sorry, the 30 games. That And that's it at the end of the day. And I, I, I actually am okay with that because I would much rather see them release, let's just say, a mini Super Nintendo rather than work on releasing more original Nintendo. Refresh games. my memory. What, what was the main difference between the, the NES and the Super NES? That's what you're talking about. Yeah, right? yeah. The Super NES was 16-bit. Right. So this is an 8-bit console. That was a 16-bit console. The graphics were much improved, um, faster. And I think it just had a much better game library overall. I'm trying to remember like what the flagship device was on the Super NES. Was it Super Mario Brothers? 3? Super Mario World. World. Oh, yes. okay. The one all where right. you could fly. Yoshi made his oh, debut. Right, all right. that. Yes. Okay. So um, yeah, that was that was my jam back in the day. So what's your bottom line on this? Would would you recommend this? I'd recommend it for sixty dollars. Yeah. Um, the problem is if you go on eBay or you know, Craigslist or whatever, people are trying to charge $200, $300, or even $500. Are people really doing And people that? are paying it. People <laughs> are paying it. So, oh so for $60, this is almost a no-brainer, even if it's just something you only bust out every now and then when you have guests over. Like $60, that's the cost of like one game. Well, it sounds like the days. Wii in that way. You yeah, know? exactly. That that's was, true. That was the kind of thing you busted out basically right. when you had a party going Right, on. it's time to do bowling and tennis. Um, You're getting lit. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, for $60, it's cool. For $200, $300, $400, $400, that's when you're just like, why am I not buying an Xbox? Why am I buying this? Yeah. So. Yeah, I, the eBay route sounds ridiculous. I mean, horrible. have some patience, people. <laughs> right. Speaking of eBay, we can we can kind of uh, transition. Yeah. While as you keep yeah, uh, I'll, playing I'll, here, I'll just keep playing some excitement. This is here. not related to Nintendo in any way. But did you hear about the new Snapchat spectacles? Yes. All right. So Snapchat dropped uh, these new this new device, wearable device. It's a pair of sunglasses, plastic sunglasses, that has an embedded camera in it. So you press the button on the camera, and it'll Snapchat video the next 10 seconds of whatever you're looking at. 
which is cool. Yes, I like that idea. But the way they've released them is they are dropping a vending machine in a random city, and the the spectacles they're called Snapchat spectacles. They cost one hundred twenty nine dollars, and people are going and buying them because there's only there was one vending machine in the whole world, Venice Beach, California, and they just dropped a second one in Big Sur. These are the only two places you can buy these, and people are set buying them for one twenty nine and selling them on eBay. For over a thousand dollars each, <laughs> people are buying should, them. Maybe this should have been the original Google Glasses model. Right, <laughs> right. Google Glass, right, Google Glass. right. <laughs> Google Glass. That, that was very interesting. Like, I mean, these do the same. Like, these are only meant to record you. People were so freaked out about Google Glass right. like, and the possibility of recording you. <laughs> these are only meant to record, um, and people are like in love with it. But they're also one hundred twenty nine dollars, not fifteen hundred. So, are they saying whether they're going to do a broader distribution? Or they are just a novelty, but they're just doing it through this. Interesting method. I like how you're staying on track with this conversation. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Oh, I just there lost the excitement. Wow, but that was that was that was impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that I was told very you, man, I've played this game for years. <laughs> that was great. So, so yeah, Snapchat you, spectacles. You have you, you haven't tried them yet? I haven't, and I, I want to, but I just can't bring myself to go on eBay. Like I would pay more than what they're worth. Like for what I do, it's worth it to pay a little more to get something in and be able to do a video. Or something on on the device because people want to see it, but ten times more than the cost. That's just that's that's, that's pretty that's crazy. Tough to swallow. Yeah. So hey, on the, the Nintendo topic though. Yes. Uh, this week Nintendo announced the pricing and availability mm. for their first Mario iPhone game. Like, yes. Why did they wait so long? Super Mario Run. Well, you know the thing is, Nintendo is very stubborn. Yeah, they are. And I don't, I don't know what it is about the company, but there's just some things that make you scratch your head, like how hard it is to buy this console. Like, why is it so hard? Like, why couldn't they just make enough? Right. This is not an expensive thing to manufacture. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not an expensive thing to manufacture. The same with the Wii and the Wii U when they launch. Like, whenever they launch something, it's just, why is it so hard to get? But this is another thing where they, I think they were so confident in their model because the 3DS and the 3DS XL sell so well and the game sells so well that they figured why would we go into a market where we would only charge you know one dollar two dollar five dollars for a game when we can sell them for forty dollars and then as you know time went on people moved from nintendo consoles or class you know nintendo uh, portable consoles to the phone that they have in their pocket with them already and they you know so they kind of missed out on that i don't think it's too late though because you know, the second they showed Mario on stage at the last Apple event, people went nuts. Mr. Miyamoto, when he came out, I mean, I, that, that was, was amazing. I mean, of all of the, app, or the Apple moments, yeah. you know, of course, in the Steve Jobs era, you would have fundamental technology surprises. Mm -hmm. But in terms of sheer showmanship, bringing Mr. Miyamoto out was right. classic. Yeah, you would, I would never have thought I would have ever seen that moment. It was really cool. It was. So, um, yeah, so that's coming out on December 15th. Yeah. So leading into the holidays, which is good. Um, because everybody's going to get their new, you know, iOS devices, iPads, and iPod Touches, and ten bucks, ten bucks, and you get the entire game. So that's that's unique because usually, right? You know, they want to nickel and dime you. It's it's funny how a price that high is considered a good thing because people have <laughs> caught on to the the bogus nature of in-app purchases and right. the freemium model. Right. Yeah. Some. I mean, the the highest grossing games nowadays are all free. And then you gotta pay to you know buy I don't know coins and I don't even know yeah. I don't even know what you're yeah. buying in these games. So do you think this game will eventually come out for Android? I think it has to. I think they're I don't think they're just pairing up with um, with Apple. It's more like a console exclusive launch period so. launch window. Yeah, the, but the other thing though with Android is you know when they're developing this for iPhone, they're developing they're developing it for I don't know two or three phones, right? Like two or three generations of phone, two or three generations of software, two or three generations of the processor. With Android, you know, even the phones just released this year are using all sorts of different processors, different screen sizes, different versions of Android. I think it's much tougher um, for something like this, where, again, Nintendo is very, like, narrow, mighty narrow focus. So it's easier to put it on uh, the iPhone first and then kind of go from there. Yeah. Hey, jumping around here a little bit, but Steve Wright Jr. on the Facebook Live feed brought up something you were talking about before we started recording. Uh, they're going to go on sale, these, the NES Classic Edition, at Walmart? Yes, every day at Walmart. So, walmart.com, uh, every day at 5 p.m. Eastern. 
So. Which is 2 p.m. Pacific. 4 p.m. Central, according to Steve. Right. 4 p.m. Central, <laughs> and then 3 p.m. Mountain. Let's, and let's just make sure we get all the... Mo- I don't know what time it is in Hawaii, but um, they will put them on sale. But the problem is... They don't. It's not like they're putting them on sale and you can just casually stroll in there at two fifteen hour time and buy one. I think these are going to go. You know, they're going to sell out within a minute or yeah. two. So, um, but it's in the store. No, no, it's, it's online. online. Okay. Walmart.com. Okay. Walmart.com. Com. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, unless, unless Steve Wright Jr. corrects me and tells me <laughs> it's in store too. But I think it's just online, and um, it's just a flash sale. Just log on, hit refresh. Hopefully. You get it in your cart and get checked out on time. Well, we saw what happened last week with Amazon on that, with the NES Classic Edition. That, that was, was insane. That was ridiculous. It went on sale and within 30 seconds. It was done. Like, that's, that's, you have to be able to predict that this is what's going to happen. This is not hard to manufacture. This is a piece of plastic. <laughs> I'm just saying. Basically a Raspberry Pi inside, Come on, like Nintendo. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> Steve says it took him 30 minutes to, to get it, apparently. Ooh, that's not bad. Compared to what, what some so wait, Steve, were you just for. were you refreshing? I guess during that whole time. Or right. Just, what happened? Thirty yeah. minutes. That seems. Uh, well, I guess maybe the 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 browser was just sort of hung up. Maybe. Yeah. Or Let's maybe see. he met in person. I don't yeah. know. Okay. I All don't right. know. He said no, not in person. Okay. Well, anyway, good stuff, Steve. Thank yeah. you for reporting from the front lines. There. <laughs> right. What Man, else, what else you got? What else do we got? That's a good question. I had something and now I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah. What, which, what was your favorite? Does anybody on the Facebook Live feed actually want to see uh, see see any particular games? Let me know. We can uh, we can we can we can scroll through. I can show you like the so this is the main interface. It's cool. You can change the display settings. You can see here you've got four three. You got pixel perfect, and then you have the old school CRT filter, which just makes it look like an old TV with like the scan lines. And <laughs> like everything. it's your grandma's house. Right, like the horrible look, and then like. It's just, what do, you, what do you call this feeling? It's just like a feeling of, it just looks nice. It's well presented. You've got the old box art down here. You can go in and, and scan a QR code or bring up the full instruction booklet on your phone. Punch Out, that was one of my favorite games. Punch Out, oh my God, play that, do Punch that. Out. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do that well. <laughs> uh, oh, but oh, wait a second, this brings up a good point. What? Two player? Could you do two player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has, there's two, there's two ports on here. So it comes with one controller. Yeah. Um, and they do sell the controller separately. Now, this is the other frustrating thing. What I've heard is that for every one NES Classic they made, I'm sorry, for every 10 NES Classics that they made, they manufactured one extra controller. <laughs> so they assumed that only 10% of their audience would want to play two player games. Yes. What? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So wait, do you think these were purposeful design decisions, acknowledging the limitations, or just some uh, maybe a little bit naive about? I think it's, I don't know if it's actual... naive or just on purpose. Like, let's get some. Oh man, this guy's what? Oh, okay. oh hey, let me okay, take over here for. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, man, please. do you remember this game? I do. This game was awesome. But I'm now wait. noticing this is not Mike Tyson's Punch Out. No, no. This is just Punch. Is that you? Wait, Are you which, doing which this? Which guy am I? The little guy on the floor. This little guy. I see, I don't know. Is it? Maybe this is just the title is screen. This, this might just be start. the demo. Yeah, there you go. There it is. That's hilarious. <laughs> Here we go. New game. All right. Let's keep it clean. Oh, yeah. They, they, they always say that. This. Oh, yeah. Glass Joe. Do you remember this? Yes, and Little Mac. Little Mac. Wait a second. Was this in the arcade? I don't think it was in the arcade. Are you sure? I'm not sure. Does anybody out there know? Was this in the arcade? I'm pretty sure it might have been in the arcade. Kid. Oh, somebody saw Kid Icarus. Somebody, or somebody wants to play Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus was a good one. Oh, so it's me against Glass Joe. Yeah, I remember this. And then you've got the, uh, oh my God, the, Mario's the ref. I didn't even know that until right now. Okay, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Is, oh, wow. The oh, yeah, you got to go low, and then, <laughs> yeah, I remember this. You know what? Let me just say, you're better than I thought you would be. <laughs> Hey, what is I'm that? Just I'm just no, saying. Talk about a backhanded compliment. No, that, that, no that's a good compliment. Like, <laughs> usually, usually when people when I'm around people playing video games, they're not doing that well. For people listening on the podcast, I just knocked him down. So right, he went down. Knows. Oh, oh, and he just took an uppercut. Let's see. Oh, oh, I'm gassed. I'm gassed. I'm going down. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Wait, how do you get? Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm getting him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was an arcade game too. 
So you have to spend 25 cents to play this. Okay. All right. Oh. Well, no, okay. All oh. Right. Oh. You. Oh. You're, you're gone. There you're we down. go. All right. You're down. Okay. Anyway, I think that's good. That's the NES Classic. I I, I would def- I would definitely buy it for the sole purpose of introducing my daughter to it. I think the fact that you can just plug it into any HDMI enabled display is right. huge. Yes. No, no more of that. What, what was it back in the day? I don't even know what the the RCA cable. Was yes. It? Oh no no no. They had like the weird plug that went into the console. Then yeah. like it had it. Three different things came out of it, and you have to plug it into. Remember the old UHF? Oh UHF my God! Switch. Yes. You have to have the switch turn to the right thing and put it on channel three. This. Wow. Oh, oh hey, Joe, I was a little distracted. Joe just said, you, you just lost the glass, Joe. <laughs> Joe Mixter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Dave, Dave uh, confirms, yes, Punch-Out was an arcade game. Oh, so, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. So, yes, if you want to pick one up, of course, you can check Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, call them up, check them online. But, as we mentioned earlier, Walmart is selling it. I just checked, actually. It is on this website. Walmart on his website every day starting at 5 p.m. Eastern or 2 p.m. Pacific, and they're going to do that every day through November 18th, which is just, wait, that's just three days. <laughs> Today's the 15th. <laughs> yeah. So for the next like... three days, <laughs> so for the next three days, between now, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, $60, you don't have to pay extra All right. on eBay. Well, this is fun, Andrew. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. All right. We should. <laughs> so... On the radio, we will be right back on GeekWire on Cairo Radio, 97.3 FM. And on Facebook Live, we're going to try and make a, uh, a habit of this. Yes. We're like uh, Maybe like a weekly tentative appointment, basically. Right, right. Drop your suggestions on things you might want to see or hear about. Oh, yeah. And what should we call this? Yes. We have a question for yeah, there, too. We're, we're curious what we should call this segment. We want to brand it the right way. Although I do love this right here. <laughs> my name right behind me. But... We should have our own cool, hip name. Yeah. So, what do you? Where do you want people to let us know? In the Facebook Live uh, feed? Yeah. Or I mean, where? Email wherever. Andrew at yourlive.com. E- email Todd at geekwire.com. Email yeah. Todd. Yeah, email okay. Todd. <laughs> you don't want the email. Where, whatever the email is, where people submit their answers to the Geekwire question of the week, okay. or whatever that is. Yeah. That's a contest. We could turn it into a contest. Let's turn it into a contest. Contest at geekwire.com and. Uh, we'll pick from the pool of submissions whoever pick, gives us the winning name. Like, I, if I, you give us the winning name, I'll send you a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card. I like it. Let's make there it 50. fifty. We'll do fifty. Fifty. <laughs> we'll, we'll chip in. They just matched it. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, like, if like you give pithy, us the winning name, like a pithy name, don't you think? Yeah, something cool. Something like think like a play on technology, gadgetry, etc. Just something interesting. Not just the you know Andrew and Todd podcast. Not yeah, that. No. Something cool. Yeah. And, like, maybe one word or two words? One or two words, whatever. Okay. We don't want to limit that. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is fun. Let's do it again, like I said. All right. We okay. will. All right. Talk to you next time, everybody. <laughs>